I'm going to be sharing artists that are contemporaries of mine. In the past, I've only shared artists that are deceased, and those have been the gold standard. Winslow Homer, John Singer Sargent, Degas, Monet. We're all really familiar with those images. And sometimes when you see those images, you've seen them so many times that you kind of can't see them with fresh eyes anymore. The reason that I want to share other artists is I think we can learn from them. They're also small businesses and they need a shout out during these times. These are very, these tend to be, as I say, they're contemporaries of mine and they're people who are working and painting every single day and they don't get a lot of recognition. I have asked permission uh, and these are the people that gave me permission to do this. So I would only do this if I had been given permission. And many of these artists, if not all of them, <laughs> are in my own art collection. The first artist I want to share with you is Karen Werner, and I will put all her information uh, in the description below so you can click and read her story and also look at all the art. I've only scratched the surface of what her art is. She, I, I, and I have a nickname for almost all artists that I know, and um, I would call this I Will Paint Anything Artist, because she will. She um, is cannot be um, shoehorned into a certain thing. She will set up still lifes, but she's also a plein air painter. I have seen her lots of times with, uh, there's a stereotype about women artists, which tend to be that people will paint florals or kitchen kinds of items. Boy, she cannot be uh, put into that category. Of course she does all of that, but you know, she'll also paint a, a, a jet plane. You know, she will paint I just get the feeling that um, when I look at her work that I'm living her life because she'll see something, paint it, see something, paint it. She's from California. She was a former teacher in her before painting life. And, um, and I believe she teaches as well, but you can click on, like I say, the information below and, and see that for sure. It's just a small bit of her work. Uh, she's also um, a very loving and kind spirit, so that's always nice. It's always nice to support people that have been supportive of you. So, let's take a look at her art. It is not watercolor art, but I've learned so much from looking at other artists uh, that it does not have to be watercolor specific in order for you to learn because we've talked about, you know, value, shape, uh, composition, all the things that we talk about on this channel are personified by these artists. I hope to do this once a week. Karen's the first one up. <laughs> and so here we go. This one is in my personal collection. This is a, not a, I think it's a 10 by 10 painting. She paints in um, various sizes. Oftentimes she will uh, show on Facebook uh, an 8x8, eight eight, a 10x10, 10 10, a 12x12. 12 12. I just love the composition of this. Here is a typical still life from her, which she will set up on a table in her backyard and then execute. I mean, she will just, you know, look at that jam, look how it glistens. Uh, there, the, you know, this looks so simple and yet it's so complicated to set up a still life like this. Uh, she also uses uh, just a few strokes, which I really appreciate. She's decisive. Um, the, could those be peonies? They might be. It's so hard to decide what painting you want of hers because they're all just so appealing and very, very varied. She just cannot be pigeonholed into, um, oh, she's the person who paints cats or she's the person who paints kitchen items. This was one that I call this a painting that got away. I did not buy this painting, but boy, I had it in my cart for the longest time. Uh, yeah, so this is this fits in the category of what to do if if you think you have nothing to paint you always have something to paint but she will let you see the world through her eyes this is such a good example of that who would ever think of painting what was in your skillet uh, and that would just never occur to me but in terms of compositions of circles and squares and diagonals it's just uh, you know just blows me away Lots of times I just want to write to her and say, you did it again, you just blew me away. <laughs> because how do you do it? How do you come up with so many varied things? But I think what she's doing is as she's living her life, she's seeing the paintings in her life. And then because she is a daily painter, I get the feeling that she 
can't wait to paint these things. You can feel the energy in the brush strokes. You can feel her enthusiasm. Look at the neutrals in the background of this painting. Look at those grays, which make the colors in the front pop so well. She's just so good at what she does. The other thing that, um, just a little story, which is humorous, is uh, in on Facebook, she, she has multi, many awards and, and accomplishments and all of that, but recently she was inducted into uh, an important society. I, I don't know what it, what it was. I, I just don't pay attention to those things so much. And she was so thrilled, and rightly so, to be invited into one of these societies, and she wrote how honored she was. You'll often see that when an artist will say, oh, I'm so honored to be in this society. This is in my collection, too. Uh, and I wrote to her and I said, they should be saying that to you. They should be saying, we're so lucky to have you. Will you let us join? Will you please join our society? There's something that's very humble about really great artists. And I'm not at all surprised at her success and, and wish her more and more and more. So I wanted to introduce you to Karen. If you write to her, she will write you back. She's very inclusive, and she's very prolific. And I want to thank her as being the first person who would let me share her art on this channel, which was a very generous thing to do. So remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet, mass for value, mix for color, and take a look at Karen's work, and I would say buy it. All right, see you next time. Bye-bye.